The pressure of paying for medical procedures has haunted Jeff King in Kansas for years. I went back for my follow-up appointment. Uh, they said, oh, how are you doing? I said, well, your medical bill about put me in, into AFib again. But it is his right to know how much a procedure costs in advance. And it has been since January of 2021, when federal price transparency became federal law. It's so incredibly important. And Shakita brooks LaShore, the administrator for Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, also oversees hospital transparency. In a report released last week, CMS says that of the 600 hospitals they sampled, 70% were in full compliance, up from the 27% the year before. But patient advocacy groups are dissatisfied. It is not happening fast enough. And they're challenging CMS's survey results. PatientRightsAdvocate.org released their own report weeks ago, analyzing the websites of 2,000 hospitals within the nation's largest hospital systems, their findings, only 25% were in full compliance. Patient advocate Cynthia Fisher shows us what patients really should see on a compliant anything. hospital's website. It's showing all of the codes. And she showed us what she found on many instead. Instead of prices, they put NAs in the field. So we took it to CMS. Would this hospital be considered compliant? Yes, because NA, according to our rules, means we don't do the procedure. Which would mean if they provide these procedures, they should be telling us how much it costs. In the two years since the law took effect, CMS has only issued two fines, given as NBC was pressing the HHS secretary last summer. The buck stops with you. You're the secretary. Brooks LaShore so says they've given 500 warning letters to hospitals, and now the maximum fines have been increased from $100,000 to $2 million. So we asked, what's the biggest holdup? CMS blames the pandemic. So they haven't always had all of the staff to really focus on some of the IT system changes that need to happen. The American Hospital Association, which represents healthcare networks and hospitals, says health systems remain, quote, deeply committed, despite considerable strains on the hospital workforce over the past three years. Who hurts the most? Oh, it's the American people. It's the hard In Washington, Marissa Parra, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.